Hey everybody, welcome to this yoga class. My name is Mike. I'm so glad to have you here today. This is the first class I have posted in a couple months, so I am super happy to be back. I was graduating from physical therapy school and I just moved to Denver, Colorado. So a lot of transitions on my end, but I am back and I'm so happy to be here. I think you're gonna enjoy this class today. It's an all levels class, a lot of fun poses. You won't really need any props. If you normally use blocks at home, feel free to grab one or two. Otherwise, all you need is your body and your mat. So when you're ready, let's get started in child's pose. Crawl your fingertips forwards, bring the forehead down to the ground. Start off by finding stillness inside your body. Whether you're practicing in the morning, the afternoon, or maybe even the evening, the intention is always the same. Coming into the body, feeling the sensations, feeling the breath, grounding your awareness into your physical body. Take three deep breaths in and out through the nose, big breath in, slow breath out, good, take two more of those on your own, and one more breath. As your exhale slows down at the bottom of the breath, start to come up onto your hands and knees into a tabletop position. Stack the shoulders directly on top of the wrist joint, spread your fingers nice and wide, ground down through the thumbs, press down through the tips of the other four fingers on each hand. Good, find a flat back. We'll take our cat cows, inhale, drop the belly down, lift the chin, Feel the stretch in the front of the neck. As you exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin towards the chest, drop the tailbone. Good, again, inhale, drop the belly, gaze up. And as you empty the breath, round the back, head drops down. Good, two more times, inhale, gaze up. And exhale, round the spine. Last time, inhale, lift the chin, drop the head back, and exhale. Good, return to center, slide the hands forwards, and we'll come into our first downward facing dog here. Tuck the toes, hips, press up and back. So really start to shift most of your weight towards the heels here. Still grounding through the tips of the fingers firmly. But now we're also starting to distribute the weight towards the legs. Gaze between your thighs. Take an inhale. And then exhale. Option to pedal out the feet a little bit here. As we calibrate to this first downward dog. And then finding stillness. Gaze to the top of the mat, tiptoe your feet all the way towards the backs of your wrists. Feet or hips with distance here. Grab opposite hand to opposite elbow, soften the knees, drop the head down, option to rock side to side. Keep breathing. The breath is the most important part of our practice, the foundation all the poses are built on top of the breath. Without the breath, the poses have no meaning. One more inhale. And as you exhale, release the elbows. Fingers fall down towards the ground. Inhale, halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Lift the chest. Gaze in front of you. As you breathe out, fold forward. Drop the head, soften through the knees. 
Inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up, gaze up to the ceiling. Press the palms together. As you exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Soften the gaze. Option to close your eyes for a moment here. Keep breathing, keep feeling the breath. So now we'll really start to link the movements with the breath in our sun salutations. Inhale, sweep the arms up, press the palms together, squeeze the thumbs towards each other. As you exhale, dive directly down towards the ground. Weight is equally distributed between the feet. Inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, plant the palms, step the feet back into a high plank position, straighten the arms as much as possible. Press through the big toes. Notice how your head starts to shift towards the top of your mat. That's what we're going for here. We'll hold for three, two, good. And one, knees drop down, chest lowers all the way down to the ground. Untuck the toes. Press the tops of the feet down into the mat. Inhale, cobra pose, bhujangasana. Upper rib cage starts to lift off of the ground. No need to push it here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, chin lowers down. Press up onto hands and knees. Roll back, downward facing dog. Take three rounds of breath. Really pressing through the hands to shift the weight backwards towards the heels. Continue to drive the heels into the mat. One more round of breath. Great job. Gaze between your hands. Step or hop the feet forwards. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up to stand, reach up, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, we'll take two more of those. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, gently step the feet back into our high plank position. Good, this time we'll move either into a chaturanga or option to come onto the knees and take a cobra pose again. Otherwise, option to take an upward facing dog as you lift the chest. And as you exhale, flip onto the soles of the feet, downward facing dog. And again, find stillness here. Take two breaths. One more breath. Good. Gaze between the hands. Again, step or jump the feet forwards. Inhale. Find length through the back. And exhale. Drop the head down towards your big toes. Inhale. Rise up. Mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, one more time, just like this. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, ride the breath into a halfway lift. As you exhale, hands touch down as the feet step back into our chaturanga. Modify however you need here. Inhale, upward dog or cobra pose. And exhale, take it back, downward dog. Pause here. Take a deep breath in. And a slow breath out. Good. Gaze forward, step or jump the feet between the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Bring the big toes together, squeeze the inner ankles towards each other, drop the hips as you reach the arms up, chair pose. Hands can be shoulder with distance or traditionally the hands are together, 
pressing the palms together. So whatever is accessible in your body. Once you find the hand position, I want you to really drop the hips low, but try and keep lifting the arms. Good, breathe for three. Two, find the ease in the mind. One more breath. Good, and one, straighten the legs, dive down, forward fold. Fill the lungs up as you lift halfway. Good, as you exhale, we'll take our chaturanga. High to low plank. Inhale to upward facing dog. Firm the thighs, lift the chest. And as you exhale, take it back, downward dog. Great job, my friends. Inhale, lift your right leg up. As you exhale, step the right foot between the hands. Plant the back foot flat down. Inhale up into warrior number one. Arms reach up. So again, traditionally, the palms are going to be pressing together here. Otherwise, hands can be shoulder width distance. Three. Two. Soften the shoulders. Soften the eye gaze. And one. Plant the palms. Step it back into your high plank. Lower down into the low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, roll shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. And exhale, step it forward. Spin the back foot flat. You know where we're going. Inhale, warrior number one. So again, option two. Take whatever hand variation feels comfortable. Nice deep bend into that front knee. Keep pressing through the pinky toe side of your back foot. Three. Find the breath. Two. Good. And one. Hands come back down. Stepping back. High to low plank. Inhale. Upward facing dog. Lift the chin. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take three breaths. Keep the breath nice and smooth. It should be a nice rhythm to the breath. One more round. Gaze between the hands. Step or jump forward. If you're jumping, try and keep the arms as straight as you can. Nice job. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, droop the head down. Forward fold. Big toes together. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, straighten the legs. Stand up. Bring the hands towards your hips. Great job. Again, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. So we'll do one more round of these sun bees. This time, one breath per movement. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands anchor down, and we'll take a chaturanga. This time, if you'd like to play with jumping back, feel free. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg as high as you can. Feel the stretch in the left hamstring. Exhale, step it between the hands. Plant the back foot flat. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Weight is equally distributed between the feet. Good, as you exhale, hands come back down and we'll step it back high to low plank. Inhale, up dog, smooth breaths. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step it forwards, back foot plants. Inhale, one breath to reach the arms up. And exhale comes back down, high to low. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Great job, my friends. From here, start to walk your hands back towards your toes. And we're going to grab the 
Big toes with the peace fingers. Feet or hips width distance apart. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Gently pull the tailbone backwards as the head extends forwards. And as you exhale, we'll take a forward fold, soften the crown of the head, relax the shoulders, gaze between the knees. And we'll take three recovering breaths here. Try to remain as still as you can. Try not to give in to the urge to fidget in these poses if possible. One more breath. Good, release the toes, slowly roll up to stand. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Great job, guys. Let's keep it going. Again, inhale to mountain pose. And exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, start to crawl the hands all the way forwards into a high plank position. As you exhale, we'll take a little vinyasa here. Low plank. Inhale, upward dog. Relax the abdomen as you lift the chest. And exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Good work. Inhale, lift your right foot up to the sky, point through the right toes, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, shift the weight forward, squeeze everything together. Good. Inhale, send it back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow as far as you can. Maybe touch the elbow. Great job. Inhale, three-legged dog. And right knee to right elbow. Really squeeze it up towards the shoulder as high as you can. Press through the palms. Good. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale this time. Step it between the hands. Good job. Inhale, high lunge. Reach the arms up. Pause here. Feel this new shape. Press through your back big toe. Soften the shoulders. Bring the hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, twist towards the right side. So we're going to hook the left elbow across the right knee. Now option to bring that left knee down to the ground. If you're able to, try and keep it lifted. Pause here. Option to keep the hands at heart center or split the arms open. Gaze up towards the top hand if the arms are split. For three, two, strong back leg. Good, and one. Hands will come back to heart center if you split the arms. Come back into high lunge with, with an inhale, reach the arms up. As you exhale, warrior two, open the arms. Good. Find a straight line between your front fingertips and your back fingertips. Good. Bend a little deeper into the front knee. And just observe that burning sensation in the front thigh. Without judgment, breathe. Everything is temporary. It will not last forever. Straighten the front leg. Good. Anchor down through the big toe of the front foot. Inhale, reach the right arm back, reverse. And as you exhale, we'll come into triangle pose, trikonasana. Lots of options with the right hand. You can grab your front shin. You can bring your fingertips down to the outer edge of your foot or to a block if you're using one today. If you have very good hamstring flexibility, option to grab the big toe with the peace fingers. Do whatever your body is capable of. There's no need to push past your limit. Left arm reaches up. Option to gaze up towards your top hand if that's comfortable on your neck. We'll be here for three more breaths. 
and try and lengthen through both sides of your body all the way out through the crown of the head. Good job. Lower the left hand down towards the top of the mat. From here, we're going to step the back foot forwards. So we'll come into a Malasana prayer squat here. So you'll be facing the top of the mat. I'm going to face the camera so you can see better. Bring the hands to heart center. From here, we're going to thread the right arm underneath the right knee. Bring the, the back of the right hand as high up on your low back as possible. From here, inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, we're going to go for the bind behind the back. So if possible, clasp fingertips. If that's not accessible yet, you can, have a, you can use a strap at home or you can just kind of grab the fabric of your shirt with your hands and just keep working on bringing those hands together. So this might be where you hang out for today, just working on that shoulder mobility. If you're in the bind, option to play with a bird of paradise. So the left foot is going to remain planted on the mat. We're going to slowly, with control, come all the way up to stand. And that might take a couple times to get all the way up. So take your time. Once you're standing, option to straighten the right leg. So this takes a lot of shoulder mobility. So you might just start with the, the knee slightly bent and then gradually working to straighten that right leg, pointing through the toes, try and lift the chest. Good. Wherever you are, be there for three. Don't forget about the breath. Two. Good. And one. If you're in Bird of Paradise, slowly with control, start to make your way back down. Great job. And we'll all release the bind, coming back into Malasana Prayer Squat. Good, good work, guys. Wherever you went, awesome job. Plant the palms. Your choice, you can step straight back into Downward Facing Dog, or you can take a vinyasa all the way back. Deep breath in through the nose. And slowly sigh it out the mouth. You're doing so good. Inhale, lift the left leg up towards the sky. Point through the left toes. And exhale, knee to the nose. Squeeze everything together. Inhale, straighten the left leg back. Three-legged dog. And exhale, left knee to right elbow across the body. Good. Inhale, send it back. And exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, step the foot forwards. Good. Come on to the back toes. Inhale, high lunge. Reach the arms up. Pause here. Press firmly through the back big toe. Soften the shoulders. Bring the hands together. Deep breath in. Exhale, we twist to the left. Right elbow hooks across the knee. So take a moment to really get that elbow as far across the knee as you can. And again, you can stay here with the knee lifted or option to always, you can drop that back knee down if necessary. Hands can stay at heart center or arms split open. Option to gaze up towards the top hand. Twisting through the spine. Three. Keep reaching up through the left fingertips. Two. Spiraling open. And one. With control. Inhale. High lunge. Arms reach up. And as you exhale, open warrior two. Keep bending into that front knee. Find that long line of energy through your back fingertips to your front fingertips. Soften the shoulders. 
I even want you to soften the wrists here, right? I, I always have this bad habit of lifting the fingertips kind of upwards, creating unnecessary tension in the wrists. So if you notice that in your body as well, soften through the wrists. Straight in the front leg. Good. Inhale, reverse, reach back. And exhale, triangle pose, trikonasana, reach, reach, reach forwards, and then slowly lower down to your variation. Catch your breath. Find stillness. Gaze up towards the top hand. Lengthen through the sides of the body. Especially, I want you to focus on lengthening through that bottom oblique, the bottom side of your rib cage. Lengthens forwards. Two more breaths. One more breath. Great job. Lower the right hand down. Frame the front foot with your fingertips. Crawl the left foot slightly towards the left side of your mat. And right foot's going to step all the way forwards into our Malasana prayer squat. Hands come to heart center to start off. Lift the chest. Good. From here, left arm threads underneath the left thigh. Again, really bring the back of your left hand as high up on your back as you can to start off. That's going to make this bind a lot easier. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale. Here we come, going for that bind. So this side might be harder for you. It might be easier. Most of us tend to have one shoulder that's slightly more flexible than the other. So go for whatever is comfortable in your body. Stay here, keep working on the bind, or we'll play with our Bird of Paradise. Right foot anchors down on the mat. I like to spread my right toes to really create a wide base of support before I start to lift that left leg. When you're ready, slowly with control, strong right leg as you make your way up. Good. Once you're up, pause in stillness, get calibrated. And if you feel like you want to take it a little further, option to straighten that left leg. Point through the left toes. Lift the chest. Three deep breaths. Two. Good. And one. Slowly with control, come back down. Malasana prayer squat towards the top of the mat. Hands come to heart center. Inhale here. And exhale. Good job. Plant the palms. From here, we're going to play with a crow pose. If you're comfortable in crow pose, go for it. You are your own boss. If you're new to crow pose, that's awesome. One of my favorite poses, so it's a fun one to learn. I want you to bring your knees towards the backs of your elbows. Right above, there's a little bone on your elbow. You can kind of feel it. I want your knees to be right on top of that bone that's directly behind your elbows. From here, you can play with lifting one foot and then the other. Wherever you are, press firmly through the fingertips. Keep squeezing the heels up towards your glutes. Good. And bring your eye gaze in front of you for three. Breathe. Two. Good. And one. Option to lower down into Malasana or hop back, Chaturanga. Good. <laughs> Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take your time getting back. There's no rush. Awesome job. Find stillness. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, wave forward, high plank pose. And lower the knees down to the ground. 
Good work, friends. From here, come onto your back. And we're going to take it right into a bridge pose. Heels plant firmly on the mat as the hips lift. Let's start by grabbing the ankles today with the hands. So a little bit of a different variation than you might be used to. So hands are on the outsides of the ankles. Lift the hips, start to walk your shoulder blades together on your back. You lift your rib cage up towards the sky. Good, from here you can keep the hands on the ankles or option to interlace the fingertips. If you interlace the fingertips, see if you can walk the shoulder blades even closer together. Get five more breaths. Stay here, or if it's in your practice and it's calling your name, option to plant the palms, coming into a wheel pose at your own pace, starting by coming to the crown of the head and then all the way up. Keep pressing through the legs. Good, you got this. Three. Two. Good, and one. Slowly come back down all the way onto the back. Good job. Bring the knees together, bring the feet together. Open the arms to a T. Let the knees drop to the right side and then to the left side and again to the right side and to the left side. Good. From here, hug the knees into the chest, wrap the arms around the shin bones and we'll roll all the way up to a seated position. Good. From here, we'll come into a half pigeon on the right side. So the right knee is going to plant down as we swing the left leg back. Before we go anywhere, take a gaze over the left shoulder. Make sure that the left leg is in line with your tailbone. From here, I want you to pull your right shoulder slightly back to square the hips. Take a breath in, gaze up. And as you exhale, we'll take it into sleeping pigeon, either coming onto the forearms or crawling the fingertips forwards. Forehead might come all the way down to the ground. Pause here in stillness. So we're moving into a different portion of our practice in these passive poses. It's no longer a game of effort physically. It's more of a mental game now. Trying our best to stay mindful and really making the most of each pose. And what I mean by that is instead of just hanging out in a certain pose and letting the mind drift off. See if you can really stay focused on what's happening, feeling the sensation of the stretch, staying connected with the breath, the foundation of our practice, and really getting to know your body a little bit better in each pose that we enter. Take one more breath. Good. And then start to walk the hands back under the shoulders. And we'll swing it back into a three-legged dog. So right knee is going to remain bent as we make our way back. Take some circles with that right knee. Good. And then the right foot will come back down to the ground. Inhale, lift the left leg, bend the left knee, open the hip, take a breath in, and as you exhale, swing it all the way forwards, half pigeon pose. 
Taking your time as we come into this shape. So again, we'll gaze back over the right shoulder this time, ensuring that the back leg is straight and in line with the body. And then inhale, lift the chest, roll that left shoulder back. Yeah, and then exhale, we come into our sleeping pigeon at your own pace. Really use your breath, especially at the start of this pose. This is the point in the pose where we're sending signals to the muscles, asking them to relax. And we send those signals by breathing nice and deep, nice and smoothly. Once you feel that left hip begin to soften, if you'd like to bring it a little deeper, feel free, whatever that might look like for you. We'll take five breaths. See if you can even soften through the shoulders. Three more breaths. Good job, slowly bring the hands back towards that left leg. And we'll take it back, three-legged dog. Make some circles. Good, and then find stillness here. Good, from here, come onto your knees. So we're gonna play with a headstand today. So if you're new to headstand, I highly encourage you to take this pose with your back facing a wall. It's going to be just a safe environment. It's going to make you feel more comfortable as you learn the pose. If you're comfortable with headstand and you feel safe to do it on your mat without any support, option to do that as well. So we're going to clasp the fingertips, interlacing all the fingers besides the thumbs, and then the crown of the head is going to come onto the mat. So I really want you to get the, the soft spot directly in the middle of your skull onto the ground. So regardless of whether or not you're taking this next to a wall, the steps are going to be the same. So I want you to start off by straightening your legs kind of like you're in a downward facing dog, except bring your big toes together. Good, so this is the first step. So you can play with just shifting the weight towards your head. So the more you lift the heels, the more you're gonna feel that weight shift towards your head. If you feel any neck pain at any point, feel free to discontinue this pose for today. Okay, so if that's comfortable for you, go ahead and straighten one leg up towards the sky. Good. So just playing with finding that balance. Good. And if that's comfortable and you want to come all the way up, option to lift both legs up. If you're new to headstand, I encourage you to take a variation where your knees are going to be bent. So the legs are still lifted, but we're in a tuck headstand. It's going to make the balancing a little bit easier. If you're comfortable with that, straighten the legs. Good, pause here. Keep breathing. Focus your eye gaze on one point, either on your mat or on the wall behind you. Five, four, three, Two. Good. And one. If you're all the way up, start to bend your knees back into that tuck position. And then slowly make your way back down. 
Keep your head down, a child's pose. Hands reach back, forehead comes down. Great work. Take a couple deep breaths here. Soften the shoulders. Good, and then slowly lift the head back up. Awesome job. Hands are gonna come forwards, and we'll make our way back into downward facing dog, vinyasa, or stepping straight back. So headstand is a pose that takes some time to learn. So if you didn't get the full version today, don't be discouraged. It's definitely one of those poses that you have to learn in a stepwise process. So just being content with where you are in that pose and trusting that if you're consistent with it, you will get the final pose in time. That's a guarantee. From here again, come onto the knees, and this time we'll come all the way onto our backs for our closing couple of postures. So we'll take a shoulder stand to start off. If shoulder stand isn't comfortable in your body, option to take a block behind your back, or you can stack your hands on top of each other behind your back into this supported waterfall pose. Otherwise, legs are gonna reach up towards the sky. Hands come to the back. If you're in shoulder stand, see if you can bring your elbows as close towards each other as possible. Point the feet up. Find stillness for five. Four, keep breathing for two, and one from here, we'll take it into a plow pose, feet drop behind the head, option to interlace fingertips, And from here, we'll move into ear pressure pose, Karna Pidasana. So bend the knees so that they're touching the sides of your head right next to your ears. Gently squeeze the knees into both sides of your head. Good, and breathe deeply into the belly. Three breaths. This is a full spinal stretch. And we'll slowly roll the spine out, coming flat onto the back. Good. From here, hug the right knee into the chest. As you exhale, we'll come into a spinal twist. Right knee drops open to the left side of the body. Right arm opens to the right side. Gaze over the right shoulder. And coming back to center, we'll switch the legs, left knee hugs in, right leg extends straight, deep breath in, and exhale opposite way. Back to center, this time hug both knees into the chest and wrap your arms tightly around your legs. Really squeeze everything together here. Lift the forehead up to the knees. This is our final pose of our practice. Dorsiflex your feet so the toes are pulling back towards the knees. Deep breath in through the nose. Keep sucking the air in, keep filling up, keep filling up. And exhale through the mouth. Release the legs. Shavasana pose. Well, I guess this is our final pose technically. Our final resting posture. Shavasana. And 
and the arms fall open towards the sides of the body. Palms are facing upwards towards the sun. The hips are nice and relaxed. As you relax your hips, you should feel your toes kind of falling out towards the sides of your mat. As we move into stillness, we'll allow the silence to close our practice. Just being present inside your body and letting go here. Take a deep inhale through the nose, send the breath all the way down into your lower belly. And slow exhale out the mouth. Wiggle the fingertips, wiggle the toes, maybe even make some circles with your wrists and your ankles. Inhale, reach the arms overhead, full body stretch. As you exhale, hug the knees into the chest. And we'll roll onto either side of your body, coming into a fetal position. Ear rests on top of your upper arm. And then at your own pace, coming all the way up into a seated position at the top of your mat. Eyes can stay closed as you find a nice tall spine. Hands can relax onto your knees. And from here, we'll bring the hands to heart center or option to keep the hands on your knees. Either is perfectly fine. And we'll seal our practice with one deep breath. Inhale through the nose, lift the chest starting to fill up through the lower belly and then working all the way up into the chest, really filling up, holding the breath at the top, and then slowly exhaling through the mouth. Feel the stillness inside your body. Friends, thank you so much for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this practice with so much gratitude. Namaste. Thanks so much, guys. Again, my name is Mike. If you enjoyed this class, feel free to hit the like button. I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos in the next couple weeks and months, so... Feel free to hit the subscribe button to see more of my videos in the future. Thanks so much for practicing with me. I truly appreciate it. From my heart to yours, namaste. I'll see you next time.